Students have been studying public policy at the University of Michigan for the past 97 years. Formally established in 1995, the school wasn't renamed the Gerald R. Ford School of Public Policy until 1999. Dean of the school, Susan Collins, says Betty Ford visited the school several times with her husband. Gerald Ford and U of M graduate. We are extremely saddened and our sympathies go out to the family and her extensive set of friends. We interviewed Collins in a room that the students call the Betty. The comfortable foyer displays 10 candid pictures of the former first lady before you enter into a lecture hall named after her the Betty Ford classroom. The classroom is in Wild Hall, a building that wasn't built until 2004. And while Betty Ford was present for the groundbreaking, she never had the chance to see the foyer before her death on Friday. Every uh, birthday we would do either photo books or videos. She was particularly interested in students and their careers. And so we would have students uh, host the videos and send them to her. And our understanding is she loved receiving that information and sharing in the life of the school. The school is Honoring her memory with a special tribute on Monday that will take place outside the classroom's doorway around a portrait of Betty Ford. Her favorite color was peach, and so we plan to display peach flowers next to her picture, and we will also have a guest book and invite members of our community. I know so many of them will want to share their memories, and we look forward to sending that book to the family. And the dean tells me they'll do a little bit of a more formal ceremony in the fall when a majority of the students are back on campus. Live in Ann Arbor, Julie Bonovich, Channel 7 Action News.